Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of rewriting polynomials. This is standard A.10D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 15 of the 2016 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have uh, an expression that we need to find an equivalent expression. So there's two different things that we need to keep in mind. So first, we need to let's deal with this two thirds that's being multiplied by the three q minus seven. All right. So let's deal with this, and we need to keep in mind something that we have learned years ago, but we might not necessarily know by name. It's the distributive property of multiplication. So here's the basic idea. If you have a number a multiplied outside an expression like b plus c, what you could do is you can take that a and you can multiply it by each term and then add those two products. So the a and the b and the a and the c. So let's just keep it simple. Let's just say a equals one, b equals two, c equals three. And let's just substitute it. One, 2 plus 3, 1 times 2 plus 1 times 3, right? So that's just going to be uh, 1 times 5 equals 2 plus 3, and obviously that works. So that's the distributive property in a nutshell, is you can take that multiplier on the outside and you can multiply by each of the terms inside the expression. So we need to do that here, right? So let's take our 9q squared, and we need to multiply this 2 thirds by the 3q, and we need to multiply it by that negative 7. Now, it is a minus 2 thirds, so we need to keep that in mind. So we're going to have a minus 2 thirds, and we're going to multiply this by the 3q, and we're going to have a minus 2 thirds, and we're going to multiply it by the negative 7. So those two are going to end up becoming a positive. And then you've got your 5q squared. So let's just rewrite. We've got 9q. All right, so minus 2 thirds times 3q. Right, so we're just, the q is going to stay there. Right, it's going to be a positive and a negative, so it's going to end up being a negative. So this 3, it's going to be 6 thirds q or you can just say these two threes are going to cancel out. It's going to end up being 2q, so minus 2q. Now I've got a minus 2 thirds and then a minus 7, right? So a minus 2 thirds minus 7. So that, that's going to be ending up being a positive. And the 3 and the 7 don't really cancel each other out. So we just need to multiply, pretend this is a fraction, right? So multiply straight across. It's going to be 14 thirds. Now there's no Q on that, just 14 thirds. And then I've got a, still that 5Q squared. Okay, so that's the first idea. We use the distributive property to distribute that 2 thirds out. Now the 2 thirds is gone. Now the next thing we need to do is we always need to see if we can simplify like terms. Now, here's the thing. The Q squared and the Q are totally different. I know they both have you know, the same variable q. But the fact that you've got this exponent here means they're apples and oranges. We're not even going to touch them. What we are going to combine is that 9q squared plus 5q squared. Since they're both q squared, if we have 9q squared and then we have an extra 5q squared, right, we need to combine these two. So we're going to end up getting 14 q squared. So that's the second thing, is we need to combine like terms after we're done distributing out that 2 thirds with the 3q minus 7. All right, and then we typically write them in descending order. So um, by exponents, so that's got an exponent of 2. This minus 2q has got an exponent of 1, which we typically don't write. And then we've just got the 14 thirds. And yeah, we are going to take a look, and our answer here is C.